Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Chairman, Board of Governors, CCK, Major General Zulfikar Ali Bhatti, Honorable Principal Brigadier Retired Tufail Muhammad Khan, respected parents, worthy members of the faculty, dear cadets, and distinguished guests. It is an honor for me to be here as the chief guest on the 58th Parents' Day Ceremony of Carrot College, Kohat. I'm grateful to the principal for providing me this opportunity to address the young cadets. More so, I feel greatly honored as a Kohatian to stand here before you on this hallowed ground to which I owe much what I have achieved in my life. Dear cadets, every visit to CCK transports me back through the memory lane of my youthful days spent at my alma mater. I vividly recall with pride and fondness the challenging routine we had to endure. Yet let me assure you that all those challenges were directed solely at making us promising professionals and better human beings to face the challenges of adult life in a befitting manner. It is an acknowledged fact that a society cannot develop without well-rounded scheme of education. Modern education, especially in the field of science and technology, guarantees the material prosperity of a nation. But an enlightened and tolerant nation at peace with itself and the world is the key to stability and harmony in the society. This, an educated youth imbued with high moral values can ensure a bright future for our beloved homeland. In this age of competition, we should concentrate all our energies to equip ourselves with modern education, coupled with strict work ethics to enable ourselves to cope with the challenges of this ever competitive and rapidly evolving world. Ladies and gentlemen, here I would also solicit the contribution of the two most important partners. Firstly, the teachers, who play an important and central role in the overall education system. I would urge upon all the members of the faculty to pay full attention to groom and guide the future of our country by inducing a high sense of purpose in them, that one day they can not only uphold our national values and traditions, but guard them with their heart and soul. The second most important component is the role of parents. While the college fulfills its part of the bargain, the parents also have to shoulder their part of the responsibility by supporting the college in imparting better training and grooming to your wards. As an alumni, I can assure the parents and guardians that your children are very fortunate for being members of this distinguished institute. As a Kohatian, I'm well aware of the encouraging results in both SSC and HSSC examination, along with a host of activities falling in the domain of co-curriculum and extracurriculum. Moreover, the initiatives aimed at personality development and actions to enhance the breadth of outlook of the cadets is commendable. These measures are testimony to the hard work put in by the outstanding team of staff and members of the faculty of CCK, to whom I wholeheartedly convey my appreciation. Dear cadets, on this auspicious occasion, I urge you to concentrate on your studies, take full advantage of the time and facilities placed at your disposal so that you can fulfill the obligations you have made to your parents and pay back the debt that you owe to your country. A reassuring indicator is the large number of ex-cadets busy pursuing education in various professional colleges of high repute throughout the country. In the end, I once again thank the college administration for providing me an opportunity to share with you these happy moments on this memorable day. May Carrot College cohort prosper leaps and bounds but I would still not thank you all. I did narrate and stated what was written here, uh, but I'm tempted to speak out a bit of my heart. Uh, 
before thanking you all. When I entered the college premises this morning, I was a bit emotionally charged, and for the right reasons. I landed here in April 1984, a very fragile individual coming from the backward province of Balochistan. My father, may Allah grant him Jannat al Firdos. The best thing which he did to me on that day was that he handed me over and I landed up in the careless comfort zone of all time great Amanullah Khan Rana, famously known as Bade Rana Sa. And from that day onwards, I just kept moving ahead in my life. It never reversed. At times it was slow, at times pace was desired, but never reversed. Whatever good in me I feel or anyone else feel today is after what Allah has bestowed me on from my parents, I owe all the good to my teachers. And the shortcomings, which are many, are purely mine. I feel like I see those living entities who are no more amongst us from Bader Rana Sahib to Lal Bacha Sahib to Gul Khan Sahib, Sadiqullah Sahib, Manzoor Hussain Sahib, Nazim Rasool Sahib, Abdul Hay Sahib, few still living like Shafiq Sahib, Nasi Manwar Sahib, Nisar Khan Sahib, IT William Sahib, Sham Sahib, few more missing, Kabir Sahib, Haq Nawaz Sahib, Ghulam Muhammad Sahib, Our Ustad Ji, Amir Abdullah Sahib, my house Baba, who was one of the most famous entity throughout the college, who used to be the ears and eyes of the legend Mirza Khurshid and Warbaik Sahib. I miss you, Baba. I miss all of you. You shaped me. You made me, you designed me. You were the divine tools who realized and made my destiny. I couldn't have made it without you. Standing here, addressing this beautiful bouquet of future who would be participating in the beautification of this national garden. And I can assure you one thing from my own experience, that all you have to do in this life is decide for yourself what you want to do. You'll achieve it. Rest assured, be persistent, be honest, be consistent. There would be challenging times. There would be difficult times. But let these words be echo and guide that this institution guarantees you success. And success never ever measured it in material terms. Being a good human being is the biggest success in this life. And it would turn you into a good one. The character building which is being inspired, many I have named, many I'm gonna name. There were very few before us, like Khatib Saab, Swati Saab, whom we never ever saw, but they were part of our collective institutional memory. And last, 
but not the least. The all-time legend Mirza Khurshid Anwar Begsab. Beg Saab is the one who, in my humble opinion, has translated and contributed as one of the most important player in the identity journey of Carroll College Kohat. He was apparently issueless. Well, he was, that was a factual position. But why I'm saying apparently? because God decided not to give him one, two, or three. He chose to give him thousands. And we all are yours, sir. We are your children. And again, we miss you. We miss you, but we can assure you, whatever you contributed in our lives, We will return by keeping the pledge and the bargain on our part by just being good human beings. And now I would just uh, restrain myself uh, because it is making me more nostalgic and with a shade and nuance of melancholy. Uh, I thank you all and I hope to continue and stay connected with this larger family of Kohatians. Thank you all. Pakistan, Zindabad, Kerr College, Kohat, Pahindabad. Thank you, sir.